Hey guys, I made it back to Universal Studios, Hollywood I should say. And once again, I'm here for a following update with Super Nintendo World. It's been seven months since I've last been here. And I know things have looking different as it is on the lower lot. So with that being said, let's go down below. But first off, I noticed right away, as I look straight on, when I was just looking straight on from you guys, at the front entrance of this gift store is actually closed now it looks like. But the point I'm trying to get to is the fact that they used to have a Super Nintendo World merchandise in here. But guess what? They have a separate store for that for that now. So with you guys, I'm gonna head over there to show you what this uh, new gift store looks like for merchandise for Super Nintendo World. So let's go ahead and check this out. So after saying all that, here's the, the original gift store for Universal Studios for all the merchandise you want. Harry Potter, those little guys, Minions, the Spick Bull Me. But if you come at this across the way, there's a Super Nintendo World Universal Studios Hollywood gift store. So let's go inside and check this out. Do notice, I feel like this is a much uh, smaller. Bit. But th this is a gift shop. They got a lot of stuff in here, I gotta say. Otherwise, a browser up there, the castle up there. I always want to be a kid again just to be able to play with these toys, but they, like they always say, you don't need to be a kid, kid to play. Pretty fun to play. You know, we have, since we get the Mario Kart, believe it or not, we're right. That's pretty sweet. Uh, all the different ones here. We have Mario to show you. You can get some uh, level up uh, shirt. Some of those, like uh, blue little shirts. Nice design. I, I really do like this. Got the Mario and got the stars. What is this? So if you want a shirt like this, here's your price. It's 30 bucks. That's not half that bad. And coming up here uh, for more level up merchandise. This keychains. Oh, they're, they're pins. So if you want something like this, this is well too. It's eight bucks from what it looks like. Yeah. And I want to, want to play the game now, seeing all this stuff. This one's cool. The one up. Would I get an extra life if I already purchased this, you think? Coming over in this corner, you can also purchase a uh, stuffed Mario. Princess is right down underneath here. Oh, there's Luigi. Luigi. I'm Mario. <laughs> player two, player one shirt. But what's this, this is me, I would get this, the player one. There's no reason to get the player two if it's a, or if I just get it myself. Look here, get yourself a nice looking bag over here. Got some hats. And it looks like we got more pins over here. So 19 bucks if you want to put on something like this. Yeah. Want to purchase uh, some cups? Looks like they got nice looking cups too. This is all. Ten bucks. Man, that's really not that bad at all. All the all the characters from from it. This, uh, this is milk chocolate. That's pretty cool. Those candy bars here are seven bucks. Get over here, take a look at this. So, since 1992, big old. Oh, no, hard. That's just a very hard sign, too. So, if you want. Oh, wow. This is even a really good price, too. It's 22 bucks. Okay, let's put that back. So, they have all sorts of different things here. This is a really cool hat too, here. It's nice design, Super Mario, Nintendo World. Got Mario Kart on there. What is the price tag? All this for the 27 bucks, that's... Man, 
if you want good prices on this, I think this is the best time to come, actually. They got desserts ready for a Mario Kart ride. And that's looking up there. There you go. There's their answer. Super Nintendo World is opening in 2023. So there you have it, the Super Nintendo World uh, gift shop right out here. Where it wants to come in, you'll see it. So it wants to get in the hate. This is what it looks like. There's your front gate right there. Right here, over to the left is your gift shop. Okay, so moving on. Let's make our way down to the lower lot. That way we can check out the progress of Super Nintendo World. And I noticed right away too, this is well, seven months ago, uh, there was a big wall here before, and now they have a new food place up here, which believe it or not, I was just here and I ate, had lunch before doing this video here. And the item I actually, actually got when I was up here, this time lunch was like today, is the chicken teriyaki bowl, which I would recommend. I would get this item again, I thought it was really good. I want to get uh, this is called the Hollywood and Dine. So, once again, I am right out here close to the front entrance. Nice little dining area. There's a lot of new things that, since I've been here. Uh, it's been seven months again, I say. It's been a while. This, this was bordered off. And what do we got over here at this as well, too? We got Marilyn Monroe now. Now, this is cool. That's cool. That we are heading down to the lower lot. Find out what's going on. There's some waits. 50 minutes for Jurassic, 25 and 40 minutes for Transformers. Not too bad, I guess. It's midday. Hopefully, this is not too bad for day. It is quite warm out as it is though, so I might be ready to get on Jurassic World once I get down there. But let's head down. Going up for seven, best way of setting down. <laughs> so we really can't see anything quite yet, even from these upper snowball excavators we're heading down. But I know once we get there on this platform looking out towards that way, we have a, we'll probably have a really good view of what Super Nintendo World will actually look like. Or, or today, anyways, right now. Oh, it's just on the back lot tour. Usually, in, uh, when you're on the back lot tour, you can use it from the back of this Nintendo World. In the past, you could have seen the progress, but you can't get there anymore. It's more like a, it's a building that's actually there now. So, we did it the old fashioned way. What I don't, when the tour actually comes down this way, you can actually get a really good view, though. But I think that's the only chance of actually getting, getting something good. Oh my gosh, <laughs> since it's my first time of being over here and already I'm seeing a big progress as it, this is. Everything looks so green and so Nintendo-ish. Is that a word? <laughs> but look, at they've come a far away from when I came here last time, several months ago. Let's see how much more I can actually get some of this. It's the closest I can get. See a good amount of half of it. You just bounce it. Now, so where you probably get the cart ride, it's probably gonna be right there. All the green hills. This is, I'm really proud of it. Again, this all that sound, it's gonna be 2023. But when I get down there, I can talk to you more about We do not know the real estate quite yet, but let's head, head down to another flight of escalators. And we can start talking more about what to expect. It's right will actually come up, or I should say, when, let's just say. You guys gotta remember, this is not a right at certain. There's a big plan that's gonna open once you get here at Universal Studios, which is gonna make it a bigger place to hang out. So we got the Harry Potter World, which I, want, I kind of wonder what's gonna happen uh, once Super Nintendo World is actually done, if they will add anything more to the Harry Potter World. You don't have to board it, you, you, you get more stuff out there, I, I feel. With a couple of new rides that this part of Hollywood does not have, so... I can't quite wonder what's going to happen with that. Th this looks great. Here's actually a really good angle. Zoop, come down the edge, there's great views. I'm going to walk my 
stuff because I'm getting close to the end. That's a lot of the tip to get on the near level. Okay, so we got one pair of, of escalator left here. So this is our last escalator we're going down. I see a mushroom off at the distance here. Do you guys see what I see? I'll zoom back out. <laughs> I thought I saw the mushroom from the very top, which I wouldn't be surprised if, if it is. Because that's what the Super Nintendo world is, isn't it? You gotta level up and try to get those mushrooms just along with the stars. I'm also trying to point things out that wasn't here uh, when I was here last seven months ago too, but uh, this one is actually right, right at the moment when you come in. It was blocked off last time I was here. And it's changed into a full board of some sort. But check out the menu. Really did find it interesting from this angle, you can't really even see anything from uh, Super Nintendo. Well, we might be able to see a little green over there, but it's still hitting pretty well, I gotta say. <laughs> and what's, I'm starting to see some uh, good hell just beyond at this cafe, studio cafe right here. See, they're saying well done over there. So once again, uh, one of our in ways into Super, Super Nintendo World is through Transformers. Hello. Wow, this is, looks beautiful as it is already. Quick Transformer. <laughs> Quick left. Wow. So we are we have some really great addition to this, and right away. Even this even says that uh, right here, this is well too early of 2023, so that means they're going to town with this. I do find it quite interesting though that you can see more detail with this being on upper level. I mean, down here in the lower level, you can't really see much. That's Super Nintendo World. It makes me wonder what this thing is It's saying early 2023. Well, we get this sooner than we actually imagine. Could we actually see this in maybe a March of next year? Anything's possible. Uh, since I'm down here, I want to say hello to Mario and Luigi. I kind of did it in the merch uh, store, but it looks like Mario is super happy as it is as he's put his arm up. I'm going to do the same this as well, too. He's looking, he's saying, I'm waiting for this big, really big time to, to actually open this up. Land of Nintendo World. Luigi is pretty much doing the same thing, too. I'm going to do it with him this as well. Looks like the Breakfast Club when they put their hands up, don't they? <laughs> Kind of nice having these uh, fans on these hot days. Pretty close to the 90s as it is. But if you go back, work back like this, it can get more detail. We have, once again, since this is the entrance to uh, Super Nintendo World, I wonder if this park right there will be the most shoot you actually go with. Uh, this is this, 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 this one entrance. I wonder if they'll build another one after this as well, too. Because this would be, I've been seeing this being really crowded on opening day uh, and throughout the whole time this is actually open. You can see this for a second. Th this is the corner over here. This is not really big. It would be uh, really cool if they could do uh, more than one at all. Shoot another tube or something like that. This one over here. I want, well, there could be another way of actually doing this as well, too. To find out what happens when it gets closer. I like the texture of these hills, though. Turn 
try to get to the side over here and see if I can get even more detail, but this is as much as I can really get from down here. So if I want to talk more about this, I, I, I may have to get more on the upper level once again. more up, up into the cafe area might be able to get some sort of close-up as we can this is probably the closest you can actually get here i just want to put my hand over there i'm not tall but this is an idea what everything's gonna look like comes this way and you'll get the entrance of course Seems like in a long point of view, I'm up. you get more of a better view if you get farther back on it seems like. It makes sense. If you can notice right away too. I can scoot over here a little bit. How the texture is going on over here. The clouds, believe it or not. inside a game and actually see what it actually looks like like a live action mode looks like it's going to be here come next year so i'm quite interested to see what's going to happen uh, come next year what the date is if i find out the date i will let you guys know when that date will actually be if you guys actually know too which i don't think you will they have not released any date of any time for next year yet but we saw back there on that poster early 2023 so we know that's going to be coming soon so Anyways, I, I uh, see if there's any further updates I, I can actually see from a distance or even down here. If I can, if I don't, 
I don't wrap things up soon. My name is Ryan. Thank you for watching. Make sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Okay, so before I actually leave here, I feel coming up a little more was a little better, getting better views of what's going to be inside there. Of course, you can see the outside from down there, but can't really tell what's going to be on the inside. But it, it is coming. It is coming along really good, I gotta say. And I can't wait for uh, the date to actually come. So we are in the month of June. Let's say uh, so we got six months until the uh, new year. Probably give it another nine more months. I bet you uh, this park will be ready. I know we have not gotten the release date yet. But I bet you my prediction is just about late spring probably. Probably March or April of uh, next year, 2023. So anyways, once again here from Universal Studios Hollywood. Uh, my name is Ryan. Until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye.